Hello! I have used Elixir coated guitar strings for many years and they have been a game changer when it comes to the length of time I need to wait between changing strings. I recently tried a set of the new Dodario XS coated electric guitar strings on my Telecaster. In this video I'll tell you how Elixir strings compare to Dodario strings after a rigorous period of real life playing. Many years ago I used Dodario XL nickel guitar strings on my electric guitars. I have unbelievably sweaty hands and my hand sweat is like some alien acid when it comes to guitar strings. A set of strings would last me two gigs maximum. Even when wiping my guitar strings after every performance, not playing that guitar between gigs, and after trying many products that promise to extend the life of my strings, I would often still break one or two strings if I attempted a third gig on that set. I remember trying Elixir strings in the very early days of their production and I did not like them at the time. I didn't like the feel or the tone of the strings back then, so I continued to change guitar strings regularly. And I'd spend a fortune on guitar strings. A few years later I purchased a Taylor acoustic guitar and that guitar was strung with Elixir strings. Taylor also recommended Elixir strings on their guitars and I was converted. I then started using Elixir strings on my electric guitars and I now love these strings. Even with a busy teaching and gigging schedule I now change my strings around every month to six weeks. Elixir strings are more expensive than uncoated strings but I have saved a fortune in not having to constantly change strings. It's also great not having to change strings after every couple of gigs. Elixir strings have three thicknesses of coating. Polyweb strings have the thickest coating, NanoWeb are next, and OptiWeb have the thinnest coating. Strings with the thinnest coating sound the most natural and sound similar to uncoated strings. I use OptiWeb strings on my electric guitars and NanoWeb on my acoustic guitars. Didario's latest venture into the world of coated strings is their XS series. The marketing of these strings sounded very impressive, so I thought I would give them a try. The guitar I use for most of my gigs that require electric guitar is my trusty Fender Telecaster, and this is the guitar on which I conducted the test, and the string gauge is 11 to 49. I make a note of when I change my guitar strings, and this has been very helpful when running this test. I last changed Elixir strings on the 3rd of September, then again on the 15th of October. I replaced the strings with Dodario XS strings on the 18th of November, and at the time of filming this video, I need to change my strings, and it's the 14th of December. So to save you doing the maths, the Elixir strings were on my guitar for six weeks, then the next set for one day short of five weeks, and the Dodario stay, strings stayed on my guitar for under four weeks. Even when I changed the Elixir strings, they still sounded pretty new and sounded great. I could see some of the coating had worn, although the tone had not deteriorated too much, and I could have waited longer before changing the strings. The only reason I changed the strings was that I had a run of gigs and it seemed a good idea to be totally confident of not having a string breakage on stage. My initial thoughts about the Dodario XS strings were that they sounded really good. They felt good to play, the guitar tones from my Kemper were sparkling and defined, and the drive tones especially had a crisp but tonally satisfying quality to them. So far so good. December is always really busy for gigs and I play various shows and Christmas parties throughout the month. I was in unknown territory with the new Dodario strings and I just hoped they wouldn't break. Some of the shows I played in December are sight reading gigs so I can't have strings breaking on me on stage and messing up the show. Luckily, the marketing material was true to its words when it came to string strength, and no strings were broken. So, why do I need to change strings? Well, they've discolored, and the strings are black near the bridge, which is the point most vulnerable to string breakage. This is not a problem if the strings don't break, although the colour is not the reason I need to change my strings. The strings now sound very dull and have lost all that tonal loveliness that I experienced when I first played them. Although I don't mind sacrificing a bit of tone for a long string life, the Elixir strings would not sound as dull after this amount of time. So, would I buy Dodario XS strings again? I will give them another try at some point as I love the sound of these strings when I first used them. This test is reasonably accurate as I have played each set of strings for around the same amount of time, although there has been more live work with the Dodario strings, which one could argue that live work is more demanding on guitar strings, although I don't think this would have made much difference. At the time of filming this video, the Dodario XS strings are £14 per set and the Elixir OptiWeb strings are £13 per set. So the price is very similar. The single test resulted in Elixir strings seeming to last quite a bit longer before they required changing, so the Elixir strings will be cheaper in the long run. Do I prefer the sound of the Dodario strings? I did initially love the sound of the Dodario strings, and there was a difference to the Elixir strings, although both strings sounded great. When playing live, subtle nuances are lost anyway, so for me it comes back to how long the strings will last for my style of playing. I will continue using Elixir strings for now, although I will try the Dodario strings again at some point. Have you compared Dodario XS strings to Elixir strings? Or do you have any other string choices that you have fallen in love with? Please let me know in the comments as this is an ongoing experiment. 
I'll add a link in the description for both of these string sets if you want to read more about them. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a like and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Bye for now.